Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. I'm currently at my parents' new house or condo. Hopefully there's enough lighting in here. I did check the um, camera to kind of see if it was dark enough or not. And uh, it's not too bad. I could have probably turned on that light behind me, but it's all good. So I did turn on some lights kind of in front of me. And there's enough sunlight coming in. I thought it was going to rain today, but... Uh, the weather kind of changed. Now it looks like we're supposed to get a, right, a bunch of rain on Wednesday and Thursday. And then we're going to have a, like a major cold front up here. Cold front is a better word. I mean, wait till Saturday. It's going to be like a high of 73 and a low of 55. So I'm like really, really excited right now. Just uh, stopped at um, Starbucks at the uh, Kroger in uh, Burlington, Kentucky. Not terribly too far from my house. I'm kind of between Burlington and Hebron. That's where I kind of moved to in that vicinity. Oh, here comes the kitty. So, yeah, I used to live closer to Cincinnati, but I wanted to move towards the west side of northern Kentucky, so I kind of moved in between both of those areas, and I like it a lot better out here for sure. And now I'm really close to my parents' house, so this is really nice. Anyway, so, since I'm doing laundry at my parents' house, and they were extremely nice enough to allow me to come back over here and finish up my roommate's laundry, since I've already done mine and my brother's, well, I'm, actually, he gave me a little bit more today, so, I just kind of threw his in with one of my roommates, and then I've got the rest of his, and then also another roommate's of mine, and then I can finally get out of here and go back home, because... I would like to get my um, room rearranged today, and of course, I still want to mow my half of the yard. If I don't get it done today, then I'll try to get it done tomorrow, since I do open tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, so... Hey, I got plenty of time to get it done, so... That's always a good thing. At least I'm not completely alone. I've got um, Kit Kat, or who I consider my little monster. You don't want to look at him right now. He's... Kind of uh, preoccupied, as you can hear, so. The reason why I'm YouTubing at the moment, you know, I always have some, something to vlog about. But today I would like to do my next Disney cast member series video. So this one's going to be called Transferring from Food and Beverage to Attractions at Magic Kingdom. So I wanted you guys to kind of hear the little backstory behind it and kind of how I um, did it, and I honestly didn't think it was going to happen. I honestly didn't even know to check the uh, whole thingamajigger to see if it even got approved or not. It honestly caught me by complete surprise. That's, you know, how exciting it was. It was kind of a birthday present, Christmas present, all at the same time. It was kind of nice. So, you know, here I am like, about three years ago, and, and, you know, I'm working at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and I wouldn't say that leaving food and beverage was, like, one of the worst decisions I ever made. Like, yeah, I could have stayed a little longer. But at the same time, I felt like my timing was honestly on point. And everything I did, you know, around that time, I thought that couldn't have been, you know, any better. And that's just the way I feel about it, you know, because, um... I got to work at Magic Kingdom for an entire year because of this, for one thing. And for another thing, I was able to help out at Magic Kingdom during the holiday. So, you know, God has a reason for everything. And I definitely felt like he had a reason for me to go over there when he did. So, I'm really glad that all worked out. But, yeah, I'm over at, um, you know, Hollywood Studios. And I just got so tired of washing the dishes all of the time, or all the time. I'm not really great at washing dishes. I don't mind doing it, but I'm not that great at it. And, you know, when you have to wash dishes for, like, Disney or something, you have to go through a three-step process. So you have to, excuse me, wash them. Then you have to rinse them. Then you have to sanitize them. And it's a lot of work. Then you have to dry them. And then you have to put them all the way. And the dishes just kept piling up and sometimes... I could be stuck back there for like two hours and, you know, my hands were starting to look all wrinkly and all that fun stuff. I'm like, this is so frustrating, you know. <laughs> it's just like, you know, when am I ever going to get everything done? And 
I don't think there was very many days when I was back there and had very little to do, and it was actually nice when I did. And sometimes I had to actually stop washing the dishes and go and check all the, um, like, tables outside or the trash cans and see how everything was looking. And, you know, people sometimes were really, or most of the people, I should say, were really helpful, I should say. And would actually put their trays, you know, neatly on top of the trash can. Sure, they were, sure they were disgusting looking, but still, sometimes you have those people that just left their trays, you know, on the tables, and they were still full of food. So they had to throw it all away. I um, mean, at least I didn't have to worry about the trash cans, which is a huge relief. I actually did work at, um, whatever you call it, um... It's over at Animal Cam. I feel like it's coming to me. I know it's coming to me. It's that barbecue place just before I go into Dinerland, USA. It's really, really big. I wish I honestly remembered the name of it, but I don't. Mm. Hard to drink all that stuff at the bottom there. It's too bad I don't remember the name of it, but if it comes to me, I'll tell you guys, but... There was a one time I was working there, the only time I ever remember working there. And, no lie, I, um, when I was doing the whole busing thing, Majigger, because I spent half of my shift doing counter, which honestly was very confusing. And then the other half of my shift, you basically just walked around. Oh, yeah, Flame Tree Barbecue, Flame Tree Barbecue. Now I remember. I literally had to walk around their entire ginormous outdoor seating area. And you don't realize how big it is until you've worked there. And you're like, oh, I see. So, and then you have to pick up all these trays. You have to clean off all these tables. You have to bring them back. At least you don't have to wash dishes. But, And honestly, I don't think I would have overly enjoyed that. And then I remember the manager got mad at me because I wasn't emptying out the trash cans or something. And I'm thinking to myself, um, the last time I checked, I picked up the shift here. I don't actually work here. Why would I know that? Nor did anybody tell me this. <laughs> you're the first one. And then you're getting all mad at me. It's just like, you know what? I'm done here. I'm never coming back here again. I was still... Uh, in that food and beverage training, because you basically get the, well, how should I put this? Once you leave food and beverage, you're still able to pick up food and beverage shifts at any pretty much any particular location that's food and beverage related for at least six months, at least, maybe if not that four. So that's kind of how that happened, and I figured, you know, I kind of miss doing this, so... I'll go do this. And I did pick up shifts in food and beverage even while working at Magic Kingdom. Because I didn't always get scheduled there, especially when it was slow. Whew. Rough days, you know. But, um, yeah, I could you imagine doing it now? But, yeah, the whole reason why I just got tired of working at, um, Disney's Hollywood Studios and food and beverage is just because of the fact that one, it was slow. I'm, like, literally detail cleaning all the tea tables, and when it was busy, I was getting stressed out. I ended up missing out on fun things. Like, one time they went and watched um, the uh, one show they do just before a galaxy far, far away, or whatever it's called. And I didn't even know about it, so they let me have a free shake instead, and I guess I was not the only one. There's like a few others, so they said, yeah, you can go ahead and have a free shake. I was a lot skinnier at the time. I'm really big and fat now. I mean, you can tell I have a double chin. But at least I do walk about 7 to 10 miles a day. So, I mean, when I'm off, I don't walk a lot, but I do typically stay active even when I'm off. But when I'm at work, I walk a lot. Like tomorrow, I've got a push cart, so I'm guaranteed to walk a lot, especially since... This is our um, week before Labor Day sale, so I'm guaranteed to do a lot of walking this week. But yeah, um, just, you know, the whole fact that 
just working at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios at the time, there was, you know, almost nothing to do for... Okay, what's going on with the camera? Or, okay, there it goes. Yeah, at the time when I was working at Disney's Hollywood Studios, there was just not a lot to do for the guests. So they're constantly complaining. I remember one time I was cleaning and this uh, lady kind of complained to me, what am I supposed to do for three hours between shifts? I mean, oh, well, not between shifts, sorry. sorry, I meant between fast passes. You know, at the time, there was... You know, almost nothing to do. Toy Story Land was non-existent at the time. So, you pretty much had no choice but to sit around and eat. And there was so much to eat around there. But did you really want to waste all your money on food? I mean, there was a lot of shows. You could have done that. But, let's just put it this way. Disney's Hollywood Studios was a half-day park at the time. So people would get bored, you know? There was just nothing to do. Now you can't even get in the place because there's so much to do there and Disney's Hollywood Studios went from one extreme to the other. It's just like, ah! Now I really want to go back because I want to see Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but you can't because there's so many people wanting to go there, not to mention there's this stupid virus. And Oh my goodness, yeah, it's just tough. I... That's what's keeping me from going to Disney right now is this dumb virus. And not to mention, I just don't have the funds for it. That's why I'm like waiting till next year when I do have that um, tax refund that comes in. And trust me, it's going to be a big one considering all of the taxes have been taken out of my uh, paychecks for the past several months. I mean, we're talking hundreds, I mean, hundreds of dollars. I think the government at this point has taken out almost four thousand dollars out of my taxes just this year and the year hasn't even finished yet we're only we're still almost three months away and that's how much they've taken out it's like could you imagine how much they owe me right about now it's like whoo and it's all because of the pandemic like one week i made about or i was supposed to make eight hundred dollars and i think i got like five hundred so yeah this is a lot so now that you guys understand why I didn't over like care for working in food and beverage, here's the story. So, you know, I was like, well, I want to, you know, get out of here and I want to go and work in Magic Kingdom. That's the whole, that was the reason why I want to go work for Disney in the first place. I want to work in Magic Kingdom, especially in attractions, ride operations, basically. So I went on the Disney employee website called The Hub. And I figured out how to go through internal transfers, which basically means to be able to transfer from one department to the next and from one park to the next. Could I have stayed in the park if I wanted to? Yes. I could have easily had asked to stay at Disney's Hollywood Studios and go work at Star Tours or something. And more than likely, it would have been granted. I mean, at the time, I had a very clean record. You know, I... I didn't have anything going against me. So, you know, I thought to myself, well, these are the number of places I want to go work at. I chose, like, five different locations I really wanted to work at, and I think Frontierland was one of the places I did choose because I wanted to go work at Splash Mountain. Because I absolutely love Splash Mountain. Too bad not wearing my Splash Mountain shirt today. I felt like being a uh, Canadian again. It's okay. And, um, you know, the, uh, you know, I waited around about a few weeks. Sorry if I'm getting tongue tied here and there. But yeah, I waited around maybe three weeks. And, you know, I kept wondering, oh, when am I ever going to get approved? When am I ever going to get approved? And I didn't even stop and think. I had to go back and look on there to see if I got approved or not. I just automatically assumed that, you know, they would come and tell me. And I didn't know who would tell me. That was the other funny part. So the same people that I met when I first started at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And my camera's messing up again. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, the same people who came and did the whole orientation process. Um, they were the um, 
same exact guys who showed up. I was working at Men and Bell's Dock Side Diner one day. And keep in mind, this was before the holidays officially started. It was around early November. And uh, they uh, said, oh, here's a piece of paper for you. And I looked, and it was Welcome to Magic Kingdom uh, uh, Operations. And my attraction was Tomorrowland Speedway. Well, I was excited about the fact that... Actually, well, I didn't know about tomorrow. I think I did see on there it was Tomorrowland Speedway, but... Yeah, I did. I was excited about the fact that I did get to go to Tomorrowland. I was excited about the fact that I did get to go to Magic Kingdom. I wasn't overly excited about Tomorrowland Speedway. That was like, really? <laughs> I almost forgot about that. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot Tomorrowland Speedway is a Tomorrowland attraction. I mean, hence the title. <laughs> and I was like, uh, <laughs> but like. Hey, I mean, it's got to be better than this place, right? I mean, yeah, in some ways it was, in some ways it wasn't, you know. But, you know, you'll find out in time. So, you know, I was really excited. Like, yay, I get to leave in just a few more weeks. I don't have to come back here ever again. And I was just like, oh, wow, I mean, I can't believe this is all happening. And, of course, because I was transferring from food and beverage to attractions... I had to go back to Disney University, and I had to do another class. I had to welcome to operations again <laughs> on attractions, or for attractions, of course. And then I got to do the whole orientations thing for Magic Kingdom. Now, that's going to be a completely different video. If I'm not mistaken, that should be one of my chapters. And I did something on there I would never, ever recommend you do. During an orientation. I probably would never do this again. Just because it's too risky. And at the time I was so bored. And so mature that I just went ahead and did it anyway. And I never got caught. Which is really shocking. And if Disney ever saw this video. Or saw that, that, the video that I'm about to post later. They're going to probably be like. Oh I'll never hire him again. But, but what do I know. So. I mean. What I did was. Not exactly appropriate for an orientation day, or especially when you're on the clock. But, you know, as a guest, it's completely fine. It's all good fun. And it just happened to be that day that there happened to be a really sensitive mother in the room. But, you know, anyway, it's here or there. <laughs> but, you know, that was pretty much the whole story behind um, me wanting to work at um, Magic Kingdom. That's the reason why... I left food and beverage. That's the reason why I, um, kind of just everything fell into place the way it did. So I'm going to see what chapter is next. And if I think it's worthwhile, I will go ahead and, uh, post it or go ahead and upload it. Now I should say, well, I should say film is really the better word I'm looking for. And I will see what other YouTube videos I can do since I'm going to be here for a few hours. I might as well, Get some YouTubing done. I even brought my uh, laptop charger in case my laptop decides to die. So, until then, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Have a great day. Peace out.